Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Quick hitter, quick hitter edition. We're going to go back out to the west side of New York, give some breaking news out of the Genovese crime family, um, reading a press release that was put out by the government a couple days ago, uh, listing the global plea that we spoke about last week in relation to that Carmine Pizza bus, Carmelo Polito, a.k.a. Carmine Pizza, at that time was a acting capo in the Genovese crime family run in Little Italy, other parts of Manhattan and, and parts of Queens. Um, global plea, him and five other guys, uh, very kind of not so harsh sentences that will be coming down the pike because of this global plea anywhere between you know a year to three years, if, if not less, for these guys. But there was reports that there's another investigation into Polito. But when announcing these pleas, the government has come out with the information that Carmine Polito was demoted. Uh, he is no longer an acting capo. He is now a soldier, according to the government, got his stripes pulled. Um, I did some some digging and, and talked to some people that are in the know out in the West Side, and I'm told that this is temporary, that uh, when Carmine's legal issues get resolved, he comes out of prison, whether it's a year from now, two years from now, or five years from now, um, he will come out as a full-fledged skipper. But for right now, he's getting his territory taken away from him. Um, it's going to be redispersed. I'm not sure who the acting capo of that crew is going to be. Johnny Hollywood uh, runs that crew on a, on a, a full capo basis. Johnny Breccio, owner of Lombardi's Pizza, the oldest pizza parlor in um, New York. Uh, but you know he has an acting capo. It's been Polito. A uh, guy that is a, a favorite son of the West Side leadership, uh, dating back 30 years. This is a guy that uh, is known as an earner and known as an enforcer and a, a great pizza maker, I'm told, um, but has always been in the good graces of really powerful people in the Genovese crime family, including Barney Bolomo, tough Tony Federici, RIP, and uh, some other guys. Um, Ali Shades, uh, Joe Zito, uh, Ross Gangi. So this is a guy that you know has a has a real pedigree in terms of his mentors. But right now, I think some of his behavior might have rubbed some people the wrong way. Not that it was ever going to stop him from from having to step down from his capo post or his acting capo post because he's got to go to do some prison time. But he was acting kind of brazen over these last couple of years while out on bond giving kind of a series of fuck yous to the FBI and the prosecutor. I don't know how well this played with administrators. So they might be sitting them down a little bit sooner than they would have normally. Um, but as Jerry Capace and gangland news reported last week, the goal, the global plea is, is far from being done with his legal problems. Uh, when we're talking about Carmine pizza, that the FBI is looking to bring another case um, in relation to some activities that have been going on after the 2022 bus. But right now he is no longer an acting capo. He is no longer in the hierarchy. He is just a button, just a soldier. Um, but I'm told that uh, sooner rather than later, he will be back and 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 will be a official capo at that point. But right now he is just a soldier. We don't know exactly who's taking his place, but um, it's it's an interesting development that I wanted to report. Uh, if you like what we're doing here at the OG pod, please like share, subscribe, spread the word. OG pod Scott Bernstein out. Mm -hmm.